Soldiers of the 173rd Airborne Brigade were airborne once again as they celebrated their 50th brigade anniversary. I think if you had to summarize it, the best way to do that is to say today's about spirit, a special spirit of these soldiers in the 173rd. These paratroopers took flight once more <laughs> off of Fort Benning's 34-foot jump tower. 45 years ago, I was here in June of 1968. It's class 42. And relived their younger days as sky soldiers soaring through the air. There was always that thrill that they waited for. When they went out of 34-foot tower, even though there was no parachute attached to them, you couldn't say they weren't airborne again. As the 173rd veterans relived the glory days, they also told old war stories. Stories that their buddies remembered as well, like Sergeant Dutch Holland, a rifleman that served in the unit during the Vietnam War. Well, the operation began on the 5th of November. Uh, we would not have been left if the company commander had known the size of the enemy there. He did not know we were facing a regiment at that time. One of the battles the 173rd Airborne Brigade is known for was Hill 65, Operation Hump. Several say it wasn't an ambush, it was a chance meeting with the enemy. They weren't waiting. A battle that tested the very core of the men involved. A few shots were fired and the enemy immediately surrounded us on three sides. There's no place we could go, so all we, all we could do was stay and fight. When we got back to the squad, most were dead, and uh, I thought Jerry had lost his mind. He was going back into the field of fire. Jerry was the only one that was really using reason at the time. He was going back to the field radio. Of those 22 there, I, Jerry Langston, and a kid named Billy Martin were the only three to survive. Over 35 years later, and as these veterans read the names of the fallen from all eras out loud. November 8, 1965. David Euglin, Davis Uptain, Samuel S. Tolliver. They not only heard the name of a battle buddy, but a brother they lost in arms. Sergeant Matthew R. Hennigan. My son, Michael E. Yashinsky. For these Sky Soldiers, an anniversary is not only a time to celebrate, but a time to remember. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.